two and the two groups is statistically significant. So let's go look into the analysis and what SPSS gives you first are the means associated with your control group and your training group partitioned across time one and time two. And we can see the control group had a, f a mean of 53.88 at time one and then it dropped very very uh, marginally at time two, 53.80. Now the training group at time one was 52.56 so a little bit lower than the control group and that can happen very easily by chance but then at the time two point the training group is now at 58.80 which seems to be a quite a substantial increase now SPSS gives us the boxes test boxes test of equality of covariance matrices we want that to be non-significant and in this case it is non-significant and it's basically telling us uh, that the covariance matrix is the same between time uh, is the same between the control group and the treatment group we want the correlation between time one time two resilience one resilience two to be the same for both the control and the treatment group so you just want this to be not to be not, uh, not to be statistically significant now SPSS produces the multivariate test analysis which you can pay attention to if you want to and might be important in some cases but uh, and we'll see that actually I, I suspect it'll be identical results anyway but in this <coughs> simple case I'm not going to look at it Motchley's test of sphericity is not even uh, produced anything meaningful because there are only two levels in this repeated measures combined between subjects analysis split plot ANOVA so that's expected only when you have more than two levels so here we come to the crux of the analysis and what is important here in particular is the pre post uh, resilience by group interaction so this section here is the most important in the split plot ANOVA it's not the pre post resilience this section here which has an F value of 113.14 is just telling us that the both groups combined increased in resilience uh, but what we want to see is that there's an interaction we want to know that the treatment group increased more than the control group and that is an interaction when the main effect uh, is dependent the this magnitude of the main effect is contingent upon another variable and in this case it's dependent upon another variable called group so we want pre, pre post resilience by group interaction to be sign statistically significant and it is we've got an F value of 119 and the significance value here is um, less than uh, 0.001 and that is the crux of the analysis uh, I, w I wouldn't spend a lot of time on the other uh, output uh, you could report the main effects if you like but in my opinion uh, in a lot of cases when the interaction is statistically significant it is especially when it's only a two by two it is arguably meaningless to report the main effects and certainly to interpret them because to say that uh, in the table that the main effect for time one time two resilience is statistically significant is true but it's misleading because it's only true for the treatment group and that's displayed in this chart here it's only the green bar here which is the training group that increased it was not the control group and that's why that main effect that is statistically significant is in my opinion meaningless now in another video that I did on this exact data I analyzed the data with a program called Statistica and Statistica produced some standard error bars associated with the means here and that's a nice feature because in most cases people want to report charts that have um, standard error bars or confidence intervals and SPSS just does not do this it's just imp from what I can tell it's impossible to do it I'd love to hear from somebody that's figured out how to get SPSS to produce a split plot uh, profile plot that includes uh, standard errors or confidence intervals uh, 
like some other programs do, uh, but I've you know tried various things. I can't figure out how to get it to be done. Uh, but I I will note that. Uh, it's complicated to do so, and if you're not interested in this part, if you understand the analysis, you can turn this off now, the video. But the complication with adding standard error bars, I can understand a little bit why SPSS doesn't do it, and it's because the standard errors associated with the means is not so simple as using these standard errors. Here we got the group by prepost uh, table, mar estimated marginal means. It's not so simple as to put these standard error values and these confidence uh, intervals uh, into a chart because the statistical significance of an analysis that's based on a within subjects design uh, incorporates the correlation between the time one, time two, or time three variables. And that correlation reduces the error term in the analysis of variance. So these standard errors are just based on the generic way of calculating a standard error for a mean. And they are pooled standard errors here. You can see that it's identical for control at time 1. Uh, it's uh, 0 0.670. And then at, uh, it's, uh, at, for training time 1, the standard error is also 0 0.670. And what SPSS has done here is it's calculated a pool standard error. Again, most people won't be interested in what I'm talking about. I'm just talking about something that interests me. Uh, and pro possibly some other people trying to understand why, why this isn't in SPSS. Uh, and uh, based on some uh, research, I've discovered that uh, Part of the problem is that uh, calculating individual standard errors for the means that incorporates the covariance between the uh, within subjects variables is not easy. And um, maybe it is easy. It's not especially complicated, but you know, SPSS just hasn't gone to the lengths of actually starting to do so. Um, and I suppose I'm a bit reluctant to do it as well, even though other programs are doing something based on, I suspect, just the regular old standard errors. That could be misleading, incorporating that into a chart. Anyway, so this is how to do a split plot ANOVA in SPSS. It's a great analysis, one of the most us useful uh, statistical analyses going around. So if you can understand how to do that in SPSS uh, and do it properly, uh, you're much the wiser. Uh, thank you for listening. Bye.